Breaking news! Breaking news coming out of Ewood Park as Blackburn Rovers somewhere, somewhat, someone up the pipeline has uh, made a bold, bold call. That's right. Goodness gracious me, I'm, I'm here. 5.42 a.m. Actually been up since about 3 or 4. But just uh, through the WhatsApp group, Lewis Travis. Lewis Travis to Ipswich bloody town. Oh my goodness, this, this, I, I just don't get it. It's, it's all over social media right now. Elliot Jackson, Elliot Jackson, did I get the name right? Uh, excuse me, I am bad. It is, uh, yeah, it's Elliot Jackson, of course. It is early in the morning, um, uh, dropping this clanger, this lead balloon, just as we gear up for, uh, you know, hopefully a nice weekend with uh, Cambridge at Ewa Park. Focus on the FA Cup right now. Club captain. This is, this, this, you know, if it's, if it's, if it's just a senior individual, I get it. Well, I might understand it, but. Club captain. There's been no official, you know, handing official handing over the armband to Sammy Smodich or Dom Hyam. But it, it did look apparent that uh, Travis had fallen out of favour uh, over the past few months. Of course, not starting. Of course, Tronstad's come in and did an okay job, but kind of not, maybe not so much now. Um, as we've hit this rough, rough yeah. patch. Uh, you know, it, it, it's, it's just mind boggling at the moment. I, I don't understand it. The only way I can logically understand this is that if we somehow pull off some, some quality additions, he's one of our most senior, if not, well, definitely one of our senior, most senior individuals on the pitch, uh, club captain, you know, <laughs> it's, <laughs> I remember, I remember over the summer when we were after Sunderland's captain. Of course, everybody's ridiculing Sunderland for or getting rid of their captain and, and stuff like that. This, this, this is this is a a taste of our own, our own medicine. I know we didn't end up getting Sunderland's captain. I think uh, QPR, or oh, I don't know who ended up getting. Maybe Norwich uh, got him in the end. But uh, this is uh, a gut punch. It really is. I love Travis the bits. It is on a loan, uh, apparently, anyway. But I, I, I'm not. I just cannot, cannot compute the uh, the logic behind this. We are we are starved of of depth. Um, I was hoping we would get additions in uh, by retaining some of our course uh, individuals, and it's not like it's a sale. So what does that mean? You know, I know, I know we're we're on the cusp of, sort of bringing a young defender in, which is fine. That's of course maybe uh, planning ahead, which is a good snooker kind of move by uh, for Team GB. Greg Broughton there, um, but uh, to get rid of Travis at this stage is a little bit crazy. Of course, we I know we got Buckley back. Okay, maybe I'm trying to you know I see a little bit a uh, little little nuggets of gems coming in here. Maybe Buckley's more what he wants from a midfielder at the moment. Maybe Tronstad and and, and Garrett or or uh, you know some other individuals will will fill that sort of. Uh, hard-working defensive midfield. Adam Wharton has been starting our game. <coughs> it's it's making a little bit more sense now. We we did not not that I'm that I'm for it. I, I'm definitely not for this. Um, but uh, you know, one lone player coming back, sending another senior player out. You know, you kind of. Uh, Balancing the books a little bit, of course, with Buckley's loan being terminated due to an injury, perhaps. Sheffield Wednesday didn't want to fork out the money, so we are still, the, the wages would be increased a little bit. Uh, now, Travis, who, you know, I, I think would have got himself back into this team. I think he, he, plays, he, he does have some versatility about him. He can play on the right-hand side of defence if we need it. But, of course, hard-working shithouse merchant. Who's going to be that guy now? Who's going to be the shithouse merchant they are, they're like rocking all shit. Of course, some, some some quality, you know, look at Ashley Barnes. Of course, now at Norwich, he's still got that shit houseness about him. Now we have, of course, a, a, a little less little less balls in midfield. Who's going to take on that mantle uh, for the rest of the season? And what does the future hold for him moving forward? Of course, you know, I talked about this uh, within the podcast, maybe I can't remember this week, um, about some, you know, you get into a scenario with certain players that, you know, they're just going to bide their time because sometimes more than, especially with the cutthroatness of, of manager, managers in the championship, uh, sometimes you just got to bide your time before the manager goes and then you've got another chance to have a go uh, at, at uh, being a first team member for, for, for your team. So maybe this is a scenario for, for Lewis uh, Travis. Can he, can, he, uh, can he outlast? Can he outlast John Dahl Thomason? Well, we're going to have to wait and see. So this is a, a bit of a kick in the bollocks. Luna's pissed. She just got the news herself. Luna, are you pissed? 
are pissed. Uh, yes, indeed. We're all pissed. Uh, but anyway, that's the breaking news coming at you right here, right now. Not 100% confirmed, 99.9% confirmed. But anyway, that's, of course, the news coming at you this morning.